we are looking at a special topic today and the topic is womanhood we are indeed really blessed in this generation for having them with us and that is why divine mercy media concept went this far to bring them to your doorpost hmm. so that they can share with us their views concerning womanhood and after today you will agree with me that women are special and if you are a woman you will begin to appreciate god for creating you as a woman we would like to start with miss fashion miss fashion please can we hear your view concerning a woman a woman is the handmaid of god he created her to help the man when he noticed that the man needs help in addition the woman is created to have equal rights as man and not to be treated like slave. The woman also is the last born of God and he treats us with care, just like he treats your last born at home. Lastly, the woman is the creature that needs to look good. She needs to look gorgeous all the time. I mean she needs to look beautiful, attractive, adorable, admirable, and so on and so forth. Thank you so much, Miss Fashion. Miss Gospel, over to you. Our viewers want to hear your view concerning a woman. Thank you, and God bless you. A woman is a compound of womb and man. The female of the woman race, grown to adult years. A woman is the rib which God has taken from the man to mold it to a woman. Can we look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 21? Genesis 2, 21 and 22. Then the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep and took one of his ribs and closed up the place from which he had removed it. Verse 22. And made the rib into a woman and brought her to the man. Just like I said previously, a woman is that rib that was taken from the side of a man and was molded. And after molding her, God brought her to the man to help him and to stay with him. Thank you. Thank you so much for your contributions. Viewers, I hope you are understanding as much as I do. And you also agree with me that I told you from the beginning that after today, you will know that women are special. Miss Fashion, I would like you to tell us a little of your understanding of the reason God created a woman. Well, just like I said before, the woman is a special creature, made for a special purpose. God saw that the man was not giving him what he wanted. Even though if my colleague here said a different thing and she, she has a different view, I don't care. The man was not a perfect creature. God saw that the man he created was not beautiful as he God wanted. So God decided to make another man in form of a woman to look as beautiful as he wanted. Thank you so much, Miss Gospel. Can we hear your view? Indeed, it is true that God has a special purpose for creating a woman. But I did not agree that it was because the man was not perfect that made God to create the woman. Because the Bible says in Genesis that God saw everything that he created and he said it is good. So everything that was in God's creation was all perfect, both the man and the woman. So it was not because of the imperfection in the man that makes God to create the woman. Rather, God created her as a helper for the man. God, who made the heavens and the earth in the beginning, wanted it to be filled with people, bearing his image and likeness. And he knows that with the man alone, this cannot be achieved. And that is why he said, multiply and fill the earth. God knows that with the man alone, this vision cannot be achieved. So he decided to create another man with womb, which is called the woman. That is a man with womb. Note again that for God's work to be done perfectly, the Bible says it is not good for the man to be alone. So he says in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9, let us read, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. And verse 10, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, and had not another to lift him up. Verse 11 says, Again, if two lie together, then they have warmed. But how can one be warmed alone? Verse 12, And if a man prevail against him that is alone, 
two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broke. I see wisdom in the plan of God for creating a woman to help the man even in perfecting the work that God has given to him. As they work together, they shall succeed. And the Bible says they have a good reward. You as did you hear that? It was not because the man was not perfect, but because God saw that he needed a helper. She also said, warn to him that he's alone because two are better than one. I want to note those points, please. Please viewers, stay tuned as we go for a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you.